Well, how do the charms tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today charms for you guys in the viewer verse. I'm going to be showing you all the things that you need to know about this new update. When I say the new update, yes, it's out, and it's called Outlaws, No Man's Sky Outlaws. Now I'm inside of my own freighter right now. So to actually get new wingmen, so the first thing is new wingmen. Head on up your freighter staircase and through and into your bridge room. And it's this far side console here where you manage your actual frigate fleet. You've now got manage squadron. So you're going to have to do this first and unlock these four tiles here. The first one starts off at 800 nanites. The next one goes up a tad to 3,500 nanites. And the next goes up even more still to 7,500 nanites. And the last is at 10 thousand nanites to unlock all of those now if you do need nanites i've got a nanites playlist i put a link in the top right hand corner right oh so now we've unlocked all of those we can now go and employ some wingmen but to get the wingmen i believe that we've got to go to a pirate sort of area of space so we'll be hitting that one up in a moment yeah i'm going to take out my normal ship that i've got down here we can actually hold up to nine ships now people now inside of my ship i have got myself a conflict scanner installed and also an economy scanner installed now you can get those from hyperion inside of the nexus so go get the blueprints for those if you haven't already and get them installed now on the actual galactic map you're going to see under where it says conflict it should say pirate controlled there we go that's what we're looking for so we're jumping over to a pirate controlled area of space now to recruit the actual pirates i find it best to fly on board another freighter so not your own freighter but an mpc controlled freighter so you're going to take up one of the landing pads and then hopefully quite a lot of other ships are going to be flying in and you should get the pick of the litter i guess let's just land inside of here now i don't believe it hits up a save when you jump out of your ship in here so whatever you do in here is not going to actually save not like it does inside your freighter so if you do employ people and if you do find some nice sort of wingman make sure you fly out and save somewhere else maybe inside your own freighter or the nexus or something so i'm just going to wait up here for ships to fly in so here we go we've got ourselves some ships oh look at that an exotic first spawn i guess maybe don't know let's head on up this actual chappy over here and let's see if we can employ him now i probably won't have him as a wingman because i want to have red white and black ships in my fleet so here we go recruit a life form to squadron and let's see what it actually says <laughs> look at this part-time idiom farmer and he's a c-class love it only two confirmed kills though right oh well he, he can stay where he is but look at this we've just come across this chap and he's got an awesome ship i wonder if i could actually just have his ship offer to trade yeah make an offer on the lifeform ship and it's red white and black it suits my color logos i like this i like this a lot so let's negotiate that and uh, yeah i'll be having that i think i'm gonna buy that fantastic mondo brilliant excellent eh? bye fantastic yeah so that's now my ship but i could have recruited him as a wingman and started building up my squadron because i've unlocked all four of my slots freaking mind-blowing stuff anyhow if you want this ship in this sort of color assortment they do sort of drop but they are quite rare in this system so i put the actual coordinates up on the screen so you can come and grab this if you want now this is the same system of where i got my logo ship from so i wanted to build up a squadron of my logo ship but i haven't seen it spawn in here and i've been waiting around for some time so i'm a little bit miffed i think some of the spawns for some of the older ships may be slightly broken located but i need to do more research into that so these pirate controlled systems have a fairly different sort of station setup to the stations that we have now so flying into here you're going to see this outlaw station it almost looks like an abandoned station but it's got an array of cannons at the front and it's got this sort of little sort of weird marketplace thing going on in the lower deck and nothing up on the actual mezzanines so it's all closer together 
and you're going to have some new mission agents in here and a few other bits and bobs. Let's just take a little gander and a little walk around. So you do have NPCs that you can talk to and learn the dialogue. You've got some pretty nice new particle effects going on inside of here and some pretty gnarly freaking noises, Hercules. But what have you got that's of interest and ought? Well, you've got yourself your ship sort of scrapping unit there, but you've got this chappy here that sells salvaged dealery type bits and bobs. So yeah, you can get all sorts of packages and modules from this guy that look like X classy type stuffage and from this chap up here this is a missions agent he's going to give you bounties and raids and sorts of things that you can do when it comes to taking out capital ships I'm going to do a whole sort of playthrough of these sorts of missions hopefully do that live with you guys watching at some point so yeah if you haven't already subscribed please do and hit that notification bell and all that sort of shenanigans you got this chap down here that's selling contrabandy type stuff including larval cores which is pretty handy because they spin into nanites if you're short of nanites you could just buy a shed load off of him uh, yeah so pretty darn sweet pretty nice to have these systems and it does seem that the vendors have a little bit more rhyme and reason to them and it does feel aesthetically correct there is no sort of multi-tool upgrade bay here so you can't put in all your slots to your multi-tools so you still have to go to other stations so it does kind of make a bit of sense there's a scrap vendor here as well so you can go on the old derelicts and stuff there is a multi-tool in the cabinet you can pick up but there's no sort of normal modules here this is all sort of x classy type modules so yeah i think it serves a great little purpose Okay, so the last tip that I have for you guys in the viewer first is how to attach a cape to your person. So go inside an appearance modifier, it doesn't matter if it's inside of the base or whether it's inside of the anomaly like here or whether it's inside of the stations. So just hit an up up here, you can see that I went to backpack and then customize cape and I chose the flowing cape. It's the only one that's available at the moment. You can choose three different sorts of colors for it, which is lovely jubbly and awesome and fantastic. Chose those, you can change your jetpack trails if you want. So that's pretty darn sweet i'm just gonna keep with my sort of like glitchy type one and that's me sort of completed look at me looking really fine and dapper heck yes that looks really darn sweet yeah i'll be rocking that for a while oh well, there you go people there's all the tips for this new update for you so far until next time people you've been awesome goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel just don't skip the adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or yeah just stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen there's merch here now too